I'd rather wake up happy and overjoyed about going to do something than miserable and getting a check for it. Follow your dreams, man. You got one time around this track. If you don't follow your dream, <laughs> if you don't follow your dream, man, you're, not, you're never gonna be happy. Goldman Sachs probably a great company. If that's your dream, pursue it. But just because you have a degree in something don't mean you get to have to be stuck to that degree. Chase your dreams, man. You want to wake up in the morning and be excited about going to work. You want to wake up in the morning and be excited about what you do. You want to wake up and can't, can't wait to go to work. See, it's a big difference from saying, I got to go to work and I get to go to work. That's two different things. I get to go to work every day. I used to, I, when I worked at Ford Motor Company, Lincoln Electric, I got to go to work because I just was unhappy. When I, when, I, when I start living in my gift, then I get to go to work. That's what you want to wake up and be able to say. If you're waking up miserable, if you wake up and you're driving to a job you don't enjoy, if you're driving to a job that's not fulfilling, okay, don't get stuck in that rut, man. Chase your dreams. You got, you got, to, you got to go do that thing, make your heart pump, man. Make you feel good. Even if you don't make as much money, I would wake up, I'd rather wake up happy and overjoyed about going to do something than miserable and getting a check for it. That's just my opinion. You don't have to take that advice, but you ask me. It happens. They close companies. They don't close dreams. They cancel TV shows. They can't cancel none of my dreams. I, I mean, honestly, the best thing is I'm living my dream. You know, when I was 10 years old, I wrote on a piece of paper, I won't be on TV. I wrote it at 10, man. I didn't get on TV till I was 38. It was a 28-year wait. But it's also a scripture that says it's, it happens like that. It says, write the vision, Rebecca 2 and 2. It says, write the vision and make it plain so that he who reads it will run to it. And even though it tarry, wait for it, for surely it will come at an appointed time. If you have a dream and you write it down and you read your paper every morning, every night, that it, it's going to happen. It has to. Because see, God puts everything he has for you, he puts it in your imagination. That's what your imagination is. Now, if you get smart and you write it on a piece of paper and you believe in it and willing to work, everything you write down comes true. That's a principle of success. I'm, why you think Oprah been on TV over 30 years telling people about vision boards? I, I interviewed President Obama. He got a vision board. Everybody I know, Tyler Perry got a vision board. Dan Cathy on Chick-fil-A, he got a vision board. Everybody I know that's successful has a vision board because that's the law of attraction. That's how it works.